Hey guys, on here. Welcome back. It is time for the finale of season two of Halo, the series. The Halo itself is finally in sight. John is on his way to touch down and secure it for humanity. Meanwhile, Pear Vygovsky is just trying to burn it all to the ground. We got Kai leading her Spartan threes that are just being sent wave after wave after wave at the Covenant fleet. And just in the hopes that one of them will deliver the spike causing one of these ships to melt down and take out pretty much the entire system. But we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and strap in. If you want to see the following three action, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got memorable channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover in the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got month Q&As, behind scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. So check out our sports channel. But guys, at the end of the day, really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, at least leave a like. Drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode eight, Halo. Here we go. What the hell happened down there? Death, but not yours. What is that thing? Why is it here? I'm afraid you'll have to be more specific. <gasps> that guilty this spark? is vast. Dark places contain dark things. What did you find down there? Oh. Ooh, we gonna rewind and see what happened? Yep, I imagine so. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Look what she found. I thought you said these spores were dormant. They were. Some spores remain dormant for millions of years before they activate. What woke these up? You probably. Temperature, light pH level, electric stimulus, the presence of a food source. Are you really Catherine Halsey's daughter? Relax. Biology isn't exactly your strong suit. Your mother's why I became a biologist. Really? And I don't believe everything they say about her. You really should. Were you in here earlier? I don't think so. So you didn't touch that? What is it? Did you touch it or not? No, of course not. Uh-oh. They sent another wave of Spartans. That can't be good, right? The battle must not be going very well. Listen, Jimmy, Would you shut the Jimmy, fuck yeah, up? <laughs> I, really, I really gotta focus on this, so. Yeah, she definitely touched it, didn't she? Hi. And she just touched her. Oh no. It's. Uh... Good morning. Good morning. Hey, you fucking me. idiot. Sorry. You don't know much about biology, do you? Meanwhile, breaks like every fucking protocol at all. I can't believe that's how this starts. Good God. And so it begins. I love this fucking music over top of all of this. Mm, God, ha <laughs> ha, wee hee, fuck. Oh God, here we go. I really, I don't expect it to, but I really hope Perez makes it out of this. I don't think anything's gonna happen to her, but I'm still pretty stressed out about it because she's the only one I give a shit about out of this. I saw somebody saying she may eventually be this universe's uh, substitute for Palmer, which I would really like if that was the case. Just as like this Silver is Team is traded off for Chief's original team. Mm. You got this, come on. There you go. Debris. That's not debris. That's the second wave. Oh. Oh, that's so fucked up. Well, they're on one now. Master Chief, this is Admiral Parangoski. I speak for the entire UNSC when I say how glad I am that you're back with us. Oh, shut the fuck up. If you don't control the halo, the enemy will. Yeah. <laughs> Master Chief. Oh, gosh. 
like she's consigned herself to the failure of this whole plan to begin with, yet they're still going through with it. I mean, there's still a chance, but she's like, yeah, it's probably not going to work. Just in case, let me back you. We have to leave this place. Oh, this, her spirit guide told her to get the fuck out of there. Why lead her to it in the first place then? I'm, what, ah. What are you in for? Are you a bad man? Why would you think that? You're in jail. Well, so are you. <laughs> hey, you okay? Kassler, what did I just say? Hello? Oh no. Oh no. That's, that's the infected woman, wasn't it? I would assume so. Creepily staring at the wall. Come over here. Yep. We're talking. She's already breaking Come out. Oh no. Oh. We got slug. Where are the covenant though? Oh, there we go. Oh, they were just waiting. Yeah. Yo. Oh, fuck. Sacrifices will be for nothing. There's nothing anyone can do for them. All units need fleet units. This is Kai 125. I mean, I don't know what the other option would be. Death all around you, and you never. Every time I go into battle, I know I can lose somebody. I know it's not gonna be me. That woman made you flip that coin all those times. How did you choose me? That's. 11 times in a row. Was it luck? Or did you make it come up ahead? I can still make it to the bridge. I like that. <laughs> that was some good shit right there. John, you've gone save them. You have no idea what I can do. All right, that was cool. <laughs> Cheesy, but cool. Any question I ask you answer, not about him. I can't. Mm. What will I do now? You're going to erase me. You've been of great aid to me. Wait. I mean, there's no way they would like ax off Cortana. Who knows? She might just be in the system now. Gotta get your get your head in the game. What do we do? You have a fire of plasma rifle. <laughs> Let's go. Needler. Fear the pink mist. Nice. We got one. <laughs> oh, her suit's breached. I can't find. Evac's not gonna work. That was always a one way ticket. Don't let it be for nothing. Chief. <laughs> hell yeah. What the hell is that? The demon. Dude. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
I'm not leaving anyone behind. Get to the condors. Abandoning mission. Wait. Big old gamble. Nice job, Ackerson. Ackerson with the accuracy. Master Chief, the Covenant has landed on the ring. What's your status? John 117. Oh. Report. Ma'am, we're no longer reading Master Chief on the Covenant ship. What the hell does that mean? Why have you brought me here? Tell him to abort this insanity and get to the Halo. I think he'll listen to her. Why is he trying to board an empty Covenant ship? It's not empty. Not for him. It's Cortana. It's just an AI. You'll make him another one. Like. Just an AI. Come, get out of here. Your best chance for a breach point is. No. <laughs> Let's go. Engine. Copy that. Copy. What do you think you're doing? Helping. I find some of your choices troubling. You had a mission. The ring. You deviated. I had a responsibility. Your responsibility is to humanity, not a construct. Cortana's more than that. You wouldn't understand. She knows me. Master Chief? Yep, thought so. You shouldn't be here. What She's backed up in Mission the ship's... Systems. I had nowhere else to go. I gotta get you out of here. I've simulated all of the possible outcomes. This only ends one way, Chief. We're both going to be destroyed. Oh, I'm not gonna let that happen. You don't have a choice in the matter. You don't know everything. Did he just absorb her into his suit without the chip? Oh my god. You know, let's let's get a dead space movie, man. Alright, we're here. And I am assuming all the Covenant that were remaining on there drop potted off. Oh, whoa. It's alive. It's the perfect fusion of artificial intelligence and organic life. This place is a living network. We need to find McKee. I don't know everything, but I'd suggest looking near the large structure over there. <laughs> It's a good place to start. So nice to have you back. Thank you. Oh, damn. Guns shattered. But he's got that. It's gorgeous, man. Do you think it's been waiting? For what? For you. McKee believes this is prophecy, John. Why are we here? This is where the fight is. But <laughs> when she said, why are we here? I, I couldn't help but think of the opening of Red vs. Blue. Oh my lord. How hard can it be? Oh. Oh. Massage de balge. What are they doing? Uh, she's gonna ram that thing. Right in his glass hole. Wow. Chief? He's alone now. And he knows that. What have you found? Where the hell have you been? I'm in the CIC. Were you arrested? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> the artifact we brought back from the archaeological site, I think it was a sample container. It looked like a nurse wars at first, but I, uh -oh. I think it's some kind of parasite. And it's in the room. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Perigovsky's like, the fuck is this? Get her, get her, get her, get her. Oh. Uh. Oh, it just, oh, it just crawled. It just popped her eyeball and went inside her head. Wow, what a way to go. <sighs> this way. It's turned into Left for Dead. Uh, something's complete. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hold up. I knew you'd find me. We it knew you would deliver was. us. It was. Oh, it was. You. Whoa. It's going to spare her. I am you. Was you. So long ago, no one remembers. All your ancestors are here with me. We are all within. Within. It wants more than to subsume you. Go. I can't hold them for long. Oh, interesting. So she's just literally an ancestor of hers. It is. From within, it's been assimilated, but a little bit fighting just to get her through this. It's an interesting idea. Yep. Uh, I don't think we've seen that before. A consciousness fighting through the hive mind. I mean, if we have, I don't recall it. But again, why did it lead her there then? Or it was it was using that connection to bait her there, and then the few times she got a warning was when they were able to get control, maybe. This organism was a contemporary of a civilization so advanced they, they built bridges with light. Sometimes I don't understand how you... You don't know how I what? Go on, Halsey. Oh no, she's infected. Well, that's a problem. Go with your father, I'm right behind you. Oh, wow. Got it! Where are you doing? You're a good father. Don't run from it, he needs you. Well, maybe she got scratched or infected or something. Yeah. No! Lob her arm off. I don't know, man. This shit spreads fast. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, the hive mind was using those absorbed, assimilated ancestors to lure her there. And the few times she got that run or the warnings or that ink, that like irking, like feeling that something's off was when they were able to actually push through the, the hive mind itself. I'm right here. Oof. Because he ran out of energy. Or not? I, I, I forgot he's got the hook shot right now. Get over here! <laughs> he's not dead. Yeah. 
He, well, okay, well, he's not the heretic, he's not the arbiter anymore. Uh, and she was able to activate that. Oh, is she freezing Halsey? This will stop the progression. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way I promise. we're axing Halsey off. I mean, I'm not surprised knowing the show and some things it's done, but there's Kai. Alive. Wherever you go, war will follow. You mm. brought it here. Now there's nothing to be done but start anew. Everything will be clean. Everything? That's the ring's purpose. You said you wanted peace. When they're gone, peace is all that will remain. I can't let that happen. Chief. Uh-oh. Much that you have yet to understand about what we are, you and I. What don't I know? That I'm a demon too. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the fight doesn't end. Not for you. I'm glad you're here. Although I knew you would be. It is awake because you are here. You are here because it is awake. What is it? It's been down there all this time, waiting to meet you in the dark. I'll be watching. <laughs> different design oh wow all right we're on the halo we had a little 1v1 we've 1v1 me bro between the arbiter the current arbiter well former current arbiter and chief here again just fighting over who's going to take this ring while mckee is just like i just want to burn it all at this point you know, obviously, the Arbiter wanted his redemption, wanted to capture it for the Covenant so that he could be redeemed. Chief wanted it for the UNSC. And she just wants to end all of it at this point. She's sick of everything, sick of both sides. She just wants silence, as she said. It was a flood containment. We knew that. We saw it on the door. It didn't know how that was going to come into play. A biology specialist just, like, walked in to this quarantine zone and was like, let me just touch it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a couple of like logical issues that I do have with the episode itself, that being one of them. She's just come in fangirling the fact that Halsey's daughter is here and that Halsey is kind of here and that, that they found this spore. And immediately their first thing is like, oh, it's activated. It's alive. It's it's doing this stuff. Uh, uh, I totally I totally didn't want to like eat it or put it on some toast and just kind of like shove it in my mouth. I don't know. Like, you feel like touching it is the last thing you would do. I mean, Miranda knows that. She's a fucking linguist. <laughs> Come on. We get to see the contact, the passing of it. The The flood is is out and it's it's spreading. And it will continue to flood the system. I love that name. It just in general and the concept of it. I'm wondering if, you know, there's he said there's this thing in the beneath the surface of the ring waiting for John. I wouldn't imagine... It's the grave mind, right? Why would it, why would Guilty Spark tell him tell him about that? It's gotta be something, some maybe other construct, uh, or something of the sort. Maybe just he's he's I don't know. I'm not sure. But it seems like we're setting up for, you know, now that Kai sacrificed herself and well, who knows? We ended. She's floating out there. Maybe we're leaving that up in the open. Maybe we start season three, assuming there is a season three, and she wakes up. We think she's dead. Whatever. And she comes too. I mean, hell, much like we, I thought we were axing off Halsey. I'm not sure if there's been, I don't remember. I don't know. Again, there's a lot of that floating around. It's again, it's been a really long time. I do not recall if there was a way to purify or exercise the parasite once it's taken root, but she froze her. So she's, she's still infected, but she's not turned yet. Um, that's another deviation. That's another thing that definitely didn't happen in the games and stuff like that. So I'm curious where they'll go with that. Again, with the flood breaking out, that would have been a great moment for Keys. So again, 
I, I get why they did that. It kind of engaged the general audience and stuff like that. But my God, that that moment was so tragic and messed up, but also badass in the way that it panned out when he got infected himself. But still, I don't know. It's just a little little thing. Ackerson saving the day as he was protecting Soren's family. But lo and behold, they all weren't able to get out of there. And his wife got infected. She sealed off the gates, let them go, and took one for the team. Well, theoretically, her, she's just part of the, the hive now. Speaking of, my whole thing, like, I've been very confused about it because we, we've been getting all these clues of the flood, that it's the flood. But this, like, spirit guide, this shaman keeps leading her to these places. Why lead her to these places if the goal was to not free the thing? Why protect her in this moment? That brief moment where the flood stopped attacking and she reappeared, communing with Quan. I imagine, or at least this is my head canon, because they really didn't explain it, is that because it absorbs the co these consciousnesses, it is itself a hive mind. All infected, every spore, everything shares an entity and through that entity, they are, they are one. So maybe the individuality is buried and something about maybe the genes that Quan has because there is like that connection to the Quan family. They are protectors. They've been kind of charged through the millennia of guarding these installations. So my best guess is that when it was luring her there, it was the hive mind using that unique connection, that unique uh, wavelength that the Quans have, the Quans, sorry, the Haas, to bring her in, send her these visions, tell her exactly how to get there, and then whatever. But then, like we saw here, in this brief moment, the individual, the actual consciousness of one of her ancestors was able to halt the assault so she could get away. And when they were in the in the facility, she got that instinct to just get the fuck out of there. And we saw here that she got yet another vision telling her to run. If it was the flood itself manipulating that situation, it wouldn't tell her to run. But equally so, if it was a, her ancestor the entire time, why would it lure her here? Why would it help unlock this this prison, so to speak. So I feel like it's gotta be they used that connection as bait, but in those small moments, the ancestor was able to reach out and do the just give her warnings, stave this off. But every other time we've seen them was them being used. I don't know. That's my working theory right now. Uh, Cortana is just in Chief's suit now, I guess without the implication of an AI chip, because that was destroyed, because she served her purpose with uh, with McKee's mission. She crushed that, but likely so, like we thought, you know, she backed herself up in the system. She's just like, all right, well, I see what you're going to do here. I'm just going to hide in this ship. And had Chief not shown up, she was just going to crash with, just get destroyed with the ship anyway. But she couldn't compute that his suit could do the thing that he did. Cortana's ability to, to process all these different ins and outs and situations and outcomes and all that. That she's not like, if he punches the console, I can just integrate into his suit without the housing? Okay, whatever, <laughs> I'll roll with it. The fight between him and the Arbiter was really cool, but definitely destroys my whole thing that it's uh, the, the heretic that uh, Fell eventually is forced to go hunt down once he becomes the next Arbiter. But hey, positions open. And McKee's still here. Apparently this Guilty Spark, this iteration, is interviewing them. I was like, okay, which one of you should I should I trust? So it was kind of like a little like personality interview uh, to gauge which one it it prefers, you know, it seems like the war is coming to the ring. You know, we're going to have UNSC ships that are in the system landing on the ring. And I presume also covenant ships that will land on the ring. And this is where season three will take place. At least a chunk of it. Chief crash landed here though alone in this iteration, but reinforcements in the battle from outside moves to the ring itself leading the charge better be fell. And once he fails, to capture and secure the ring, he better become Arbiter, setting him on that path. 
we'll just have another heretic. Who knows? If we keep McKee around, she could start some anti-covenant cult thing. I don't know. And that's kind of where they where they go. I don't know. It was an interesting finale. There was a lot of cool stuff. Like the whole thing with Chief flipping the coin, reminiscing about what makes him special was great. Going back for the Spartan Threes, going back for Kai, being like, I'm not sacrificing needlessly more people today. I'm not about that. I'm not going to let you do that. And the fact that Halsey backed him, of all people, that's a huge thing right there. There was some pretty damn hard-hitting moments in this. You know, from Perez's persistence and the onslaught there with uh, Kai and her team, the whole assault of that ship, Chief coming in, saving the day through that hallway. There was a lot of really damn good moments. There's just a lot of weird choices sprinkled throughout, which is just kind of par for the course with the show in general. But still, by large and far, this season has not had nearly as many problems, or at least I haven't had nearly as many problems as it did in the first season. I've been really enjoying it. And I did like this overall for what it was. There's still a couple of things that I definitely have a few hangups on because I feel like there was another way to streamline it. I did like the the look of the early onset infected, uh, a little less bulbousy. You know, we had them morphing as it progressed and the tentacles coming out, a little less uh, spore-ish, I guess. I don't know how you'd saw, say that. Like the little thing we saw crawling out of the mouth, you, like usually there's like more of that growing off of them, like these little stems and stuff like that. Like maybe they're doing it this way because they were a little late to the game on this. Maybe they didn't want to draw too many comparisons to The Last of Us, even though Halo had this long before The Last of Us was even an idea. It was a hive as well. It was a, it's basically a living fungus. It is as the ego does spread through spores, through contact and all this other stuff. I feel like there was probably a conscious effort to differentiate it, even though technically they have the right to do so in an, in and of itself. But that's not what the general audience is. The general public is going to really think, I think at this point, if they were to do anything of the sort, we got a little inklings of that when we got down on the microscopic level. And as well as we see these like slug larva, which is not something I recall at all being involved with how they transmit. But a little bit of that evoked a little bit of the uh, the traditional aesthetic. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see where things go. I don't know if season three has been greenlit or not. I'd still tune in because it does feel like a show that takes the criticism and builds and learns and adapts. Obviously, they're still trying to appeal to people more than just the fans. There is plenty in here, a lot in here for fans of the games. It's just some of the story decisions in my mind, and I'm, I'm sure many others, there have been some choices that definitely make it hit less and also kind of step on some of the greater themes and tossing that aside for something a little more muted and watered down. But at the end of the day, I'm still enjoying it. It's still fine, but it does feel like a show that is progressively getting better. I would, with this season in mind and any criticisms that come back from this, any feedback, I would hope that they take that, incorporate it and run with it. Cause it feels like this is, they want this to succeed. You know, barring whatever happened with that first showrunner, there's a conscious effort to get things on a track that makes sense. I'll hear him out until they really fuck it up. Hell, man, I hated Titan season one and I still stuck it out until the final season because each one did get progressively better and I just wanted to see it through you know, because of that. If it got substantially worse every season, it'd be a different story. So I'd be curious to see and follow along on this to and, and just see what happens. But Guys, what'd you think? How do you feel about this season? How do you feel about this finale? What are your thoughts on where this is gonna go next? Clarify anything that maybe I got wrong or didn't remember correctly about some of the details from the games, the lore, the books and stuff like that. I always appreciate that as well. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you wanna see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a member of the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share it, Ryan Karen, York, Horscon, Melita, Robert Angliano, Jeffrey Hale, Jay Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justice Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.
Take care, everybody.